Today, I have a story for you called A Walk in the Rain. The author or person who wrote this story is named Ursel Scheffler. The artist who made the beautiful paintings for this story is named Ulysses Wenzel. A Walk in the Rain is a sweet story about a little boy named Josh who loves to go for walks in the rain with his granny and Barney the dog. Let's begin. A walk in the rain. Josh loved visiting his grandparents, especially on rainy days, because Josh's grandmother loved to walk in the rain. Josh loved to walk in the rain too but he always got soaking wet. We'll have to get you a raincoat, his grandmother said as she wrapped him in a big blue towel. The next time Josh visited, his grandmother gave him a bright yellow raincoat with a matching hat. And his grandfather gave him a pair of shiny rubber boots. Josh tried them on right away, but it didn't rain for weeks. Finally, one morning, Josh heard raindrops pattering against his window. He could hardly wait to go for a walk. The rain dripped on his new raincoat. It gushed around the rim of his hat. Josh splashed through all the puddles in his shiny rubber boots. He found a ladybug and gently put her on the branch of a bush where the leaves would shelter her from the rain. Granny, he asked, where do the birds go when it rains? Let's find out, his grandmother said. They found birds in the trees. They found birds under window sills. Josh even spotted some way up high under the roof of a house. When they found two little sparrows perched on a fence, Josh said, look, Granny, they need raincoats too. But Josh's grandmother explained that birds' feathers are covered with oil, which helps keep them dry in the rain, just like a raincoat. Josh found a pile of leaves that had collected near a drain, making a dam. He poked a hole in the leaves and the water gurgled down the drain. When they came to a stream, Josh threw a twig in the water and watched it whoosh away. Then they crossed the bridge and went into the woods where someone had cut down some trees. Josh and his grandmother climbed onto the logs and pretended they were tightrope walkers. By the time they climbed down, Barney had disappeared. They called and they whistled. They whistled and they called, but they didn't see Barney anywhere. He's probably off chasing rabbits, Grandmother decided. Josh whistled one more time as loudly as he could, and Barney came running back. He was covered with mud from top to tail. I think it's time to go home, Grandmother said. On the way home, Josh looked for mushrooms. They sprout everywhere when it rains, his grandmother told him. Josh counted seven growing by a tree. When they got home, Josh's grandmother hung their raincoats over the bathtub while Josh and his grandfather rubbed Barney dry. Then Josh told everyone about all the things he had seen during his walk in the rain. Afterward, Josh watched the rain splash against the window while his grandfather read him a story. 
That was another reason Josh loved rainy days. The end. Thanks for joining me today for a walk in the rain. Check in the description below for some questions about the story. Have a great day reading.